So in this video, I will discuss about the demand CSS layout of a web page. So before layout, you should know the meaning of the positioning. So positioning refers to the layout of the items on your page. Means where you are keeping your information in the page, that positions contents for the complete layout of the page. And it also refers to the positioning position descriptor in your CSS rules. Okay. Normal way you see this is called a normal flow or no positioning. So this is called the top left. This red circle that is called the top left uh, of the page. Coordinate we can say 0, 0. Like that one again you can see left to right, top to bottom. Okay, you can see all of the arrow marks that is called the left to right and another arrow marks you can see top to bottom. So this is a normal again the position that is called a normal flow got it so top left corner left to right and top to so in the normal flow you see the yellow box this is the yellow outside the yellow box is the container okay and in this container again we are putting the this is a paragraph to which i have set the width so one paragraph statement you see in that paragraph we set the width in this container and again one more in the next paragraph fits next to it on the right it will line up you see a next paragraph which is coming inside the blue circle that is coming after finishing the green of the green circle of the that paragraph then only it is adjusting okay so this is the one small one container one paragraph another paragraph we fix the width and both are adjusting with the help of the normal right now you see again here so same flow now you see second paragraph is too wide to fit the container it will shift down okay so with the help of the normal flow, down down of this one again because it is not adjusting in that container now. so that's why it will come to the next again so next means again you can see here it is coming to the below of the again the first paragraph under the normal flow getting my point so be big container you can adjust again the two again the whatever the contents together okay if it is going to the beyond of that container it is automatic it will come for the next below of the first again the uh, paragraph otherwise you can see the division generally this is adjusting with the help of the div only okay so this is the basic principle of the normal flow i think you got idea normal flow is very simple one one big container put the contents if anything is going beyond of that line automatic it will go to the next one that is the no basic principle of the and whenever you are talking about the one more thing that is called the box model this normal flow and other things comes under for the box model only okay so all of this item in your web page generate in invisible boxes and you have to figure out how all of those boxes will fit into your page like a puzzle got it so this normal flow containing the one box and whatever the information that is working as a box and that box we have to fix so you see here the image with one link one box set up the links again for navigation one boxes a small print text bullet list one boxes image is again one boxes and regular text is again the one boxes so in that way you can adjust it to all of the informations together inside the box model for the current web page right but whenever you are talking about the box model again you should know again the what is the meaning of the margin border padding padding and the content Contain is the center only. Contain and the border, whatever the space is there, that is called the bad padding. Okay, that contain where you want to display away from your border, that is called the content. Take example from the again the room. In your bedroom again, you want to adjust the bed. So how much distance you want to keep from the wall, that is called the padding. Okay, because wall is again the one of the called border right so i think you got the idea about the padding with the help of this example now border is again the like a room again the outside boundary that is called the border then coming to the margin so 
again margin is again very simple one box another box how much space you want to keep so one room another room if you are giving the any space that is called the border one house another house you can give the some space that is called the again uh, sorry margin okay so i think you are getting this ones whenever you are writing the margin and the padding together yeah margin and the padding if you want to put in your page how to write the coding that is again the complete the css properties only so margin means again all four side you can adjust but order is there for margin in the css t r b l t means top r means right b means bottom l means left t r b l so t r b l format only you can put the value t top right bottom and left so you see here margin i am writing here 10 px so first means first 10 px top margin another 10 px again giving a space that is means right another again 10 px from bottom another 10 means left if you want you can put the value like this only 10 5 5 2 so on 10 first 10 is the top another 5 is again right another 5 we are giving again bottom and last one two again left but in this order trvl format only you can put the margin otherwise padding all value together padding is again the same way right otherwise one by one you can adjust the value in all first you can adjust for the left side then right side then again on the sides we can adjust got it and even if you want you can adjust the only two numbers also top and bottom left and right also one number uh, one more things you can keep in your mind if you are writing in the four way you can adjust and suppose that only you are writing the margin 10 px only one value that means they will consider all four side otherwise two value also you can together 10 px 15 px otherwise 5 px 10x top bottom otherwise left right okay so in this way you can adjust the margin and the padding in the page but suppose that if you want to do again the little bit uh, different way to adjust the informations then again you have a option the absolute relative and the float float these three are the very very important for the examination okay so you can do the positioning with the help of this the absolute relative and float kindly keep this point in your mind for examination purpose otherwise for the any advanced level of the designing in the web page generally developers are facing this issue only for adjusting the contents come some contents is overlapping coming here and there and something something is happening so that time if they have a knowledge about this three easily they can adjust the contents of the information in the web page so here we'll see first of all float so what is the meaning of the float this is the normal flow of the document from top to bottom left to right and when the floated text is added you see here p class equal to float float we added here so when the floated text is added here it moves to the top right corner of the containing element in the cases of the divisions you see one division is in in the code you see one division then again one paragraph this is the normal and then again p class float we already added so by default it will go for the again the top right corner of the containing and normal talk text was there on on the floated text so whenever the text will increase again the this will be the position is already going to the always in the top right corner with the help of the float okay coming to the absolute once you can write the absolute class suppose that writing the absolute so what will happen so this is the normal flow of a document from top of the bottom okay left to right but when you added the absolute position text it moves to the coordinates you set based on the top left corner of the containing elements so once you are fixing the absolute suppose that so that absolute position whatever margin left padding whatever you are giving so that will fix based upon the left corner position only and that is fixed only and uh, that uh, text whatever the text you are writing here that will be the over the absolute position only you see here we already fixed that this text is red color something is coming now so that already we fix here again the absolute so once this is the absolute whatever the things if you are writing everything will be the overflow of this ones okay so this is also the one of the way to fix the position absolute fixing is again the same you can use the margin otherwise padding but that everything they will consider from the top corner left corner only value but this position is the fix 
but the float is not like that one whenever writing it will coming back to the again the next 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 it will be changed position will be changed but absolute is nothing like that one it will fixed okay you see here example only we created the one css class abc position is absolute how to write this one uh, sorry one more things i have to say uh, so attributes either by js or not uh, that is called the val uh, um, uh, css again the properties rules so here position rules position colon and then value absolute there position colon float then you can fix again top 40x left 80x so top means from the top and the from the left again that position is fixed and we call that class again along with the paragraph you see again the span class only you call abs so this position is already fixed here got it coming to the next one is the relative so again we created here in this example for the relative class position equal to relative top 50x left minus 150x once you are putting the class relative so what will happen based upon the first position you see here paragraph this is the normal is coming one yellow and then again you fix the relative one so that position will start not from the left corner that position will start from the previous contents onwards that position will start from the previous contents onwards previous box onwards only so that's why you see from top to bottom left to right that position is coming after finishing the that statement only okay so that is called the relative so i think you got idea you see here again the one was small again the first of all layout the standard layout uh, suppose that you want to display your resume and uh, again all contents if you want to display in the so a standard format is there again the this is called a standard template you can change not a problem so first thing you see the container container means first one blue one outside so your entire page is inside that container only inside the container next part is called banner so you can write the company name logo whatever you want otherwise some kind of the flash designing banner also you can create nav is called again the navigation all of the linking one page to another page linking you can add here then next thing is the content your first page content you can put and the footer again coming either you can give the social media link either you can put again the contact us brief information and copyright at the rate of symbol you can put that otherwise you can put design and develop by so and so so some information we have to add under the footer so this is the one of the standard layout i am not telling that this is the fixed one a standard layout you can change what it so you see here again the creating this one again very simple again divide the container inside the container one more division we took so inside that one we display the image then again the under the nav section you see div id equal to name so two links are there content you see some information my resume resume text are there and again the one more div that is again the footer all your copyright information and other information you can put and you see div container and closing of the last again the div container is there and then body html whatever the things you know that you can right and that information css we can adjust again container width you can fix banner height and width you can fix navigations again the you can go for the float only positions and the content you can change font size of the footer also you can adjust everything with the help of the css okay so ultimate with the help of this video i think you got idea three things first one is the normal layout what is the meaning second one is again if you want to fixing the information in like the box so there are the three options you have one is called the float another is called absolute and third one is called the relative okay so next video again we'll discuss the more about the next part as per your syllabus so thanks for your presence